Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 team of the season at play review. And in this video, guys, we're doing the 89 rated Wolverhampton Wanderers Spanish right winger Adama Traore. What a card. What a card. He's come a long way from that 74 rated silver at the start of FIFA 20, that is for sure. But uh, I did pick up this card for 445,000 coins. And in the three games that I did play, he did score me two goals and got me three assists. Those three games were played in foot champions, and I was able to win all three matches. Uh, he also does have four star skill moves as well as a three star weak foot. Then getting into the game stats, his main standard stats will be his 99 shot power, his 95 balance, his 99 strength, and then finally his 99. Seven dribbling. I did also have the the day camps that apply to him, and he does have the traits, uh, the two AI traits of speed, dribbler, and dives into tackles, and then um, the other traits of flair. I have gone on to sell him since then for 454,000 coins, so I lost a few coins on tax. I didn't want to just like keep him in the club for too long and then potentially maybe lose more because, of course, the market is that it's fluctuating quite a lot at the moment. So I do have Footbin where I'm going to kind of be looking down at my phone in this video because I've applied on Footbin the day camp style to him just to kind of see like the upgrades that. That it gives to him so I can kind of read off the stats and stuff like that when we're going through the review but um but this card's class of course um you know I, I think one of the cool things about this card is he was given the weak foot upgrade if um you know I, I myself do have the headliner Troy who has a two-star weak foot which at times could still be a bit of an issue um but the fact he's been given a three-star weak foot it is an upgrade obviously that is still very good obviously a three-star weak foot still isn't the most insane in the world but even so um it's obviously much more an improvement on that two-star weak foot but uh it, for me, his first probably is pace, lightning quick. But at, at the same time, um, you know, I've used a headliner card and I still use the headliner card quite a bit as like a super sub and sometimes in my starting 11. The only reason why my headliner card for Troy won't go into the team now is because I've got uh, Moments Perez who I want to be using for a little bit in the main team. But um, but pace-wise, I couldn't really notice the difference between either of them, um, between either version of the 85 or the or the 89. I think the 85 is also at 99 pace. So um, he's just, he's still lightning quick. He'll still outspeed and at, and outpace pretty much 99% of players in the game unless maybe you come up against like a Roberto Carlos or something maybe then on that one occasion you might have a bit of a battle on your hands but uh, but you know but yeah but for the most part you know once he gets running and uh, no one's catching him he's, he's superb in that area 90 stamina as well so Feel free to pace abuse him. You're going to have an absolute ball with that. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it allows him to get into good opportunities. It allows him to be able to create spaces, uh, you know, in the, get himself into the box to maybe you know, have a shot on goal, make passes to other players and stuff. It was very, very effective. Is that his dribbling again? Another bro to the card. Superb again. Four star skill moves. His dribbling stats all around the class 92 agility, 95 balance, 97 dribbling. Yes, his composure at 76 and reactions at 67 aren't the greatest. And I think also with the headliner cards, uh, I can't remember. I don't think he said a massive. I think his reactions on his headliner card might have been 62 potentially, but um, I think reactions matters a little bit more towards defensive players, like a centre back or something. Um, not, not reactions, not so much on a winger necessarily. Just from my experience, I've never really had a problem with reactions. Uh, or composure to my knowledge anyway with the with the headliner card and of course this this 89 card has it increases on those stats so I wouldn't let the reactions and composure necessarily put you off at the end of the day he still came in with five goal contributions in the free game so that to me shows that composure is is nowhere near an issue as far as I'm concerned but um but his dribbling on the whole superb very nice and agile getting in between defenders and stuff like that he's just an absolute menace for the opposition he's fantastic his passing again brilliant three assists in the three games couldn't fault that whatsoever. 80 vision, 90 short passing, 73 long passing. I actually haven't looked at the Dead Eye Cam style and what those increases. And the Dead Eye Cam style does increase passing stats. His vision goes up to 90. His short passing goes to 99. His curve goes up to 96. Very, very effective for a winger, whether it be making crosses, playing through balls and stuff like that. It's very effective. And obviously, free assists in the free games in foot champions was obviously superb as well. And uh, on the whole, just a quality card. Really, really fun to use. Really enjoyed him. His 99 strength as well is pretty decent. Um... I don't think it feels quite as good as 99 strength. You know, don't get me wrong, he can hold his own on the pitch. He can bully players off the ball. But he, you know, he's not the strongest player that I've ever used. I don't feel he feel, he doesn't feel like he's got 99 strength in my personal opinion. Finishing wise as well, fantastic finishing stats, 85 positioning, 99 shot power. Got me the two goals in the three games, maybe. I mean, one of them was from the penalty spot. One was another pretty decent, like, near post type of goal I think I can't exactly remember but um but you know his finishing is decent it's obviously not the most fantastic in the game but it's still you know it's still pretty good for the most part um it, you know it's certainly not an issue or anything like that whatsoever but yeah 
five gold contributions in the free games. This is a card that's fantastic. I'd love to be able to get him in my foot champion rewards or just pack him at some point throughout this promo. He's actually one of the lower rated team of the season cards, just like Soyanachu. And they're both fantastic. And as far as I'm concerned, they're both end game cards. They're absolutely superb. So in my opinion, I recommend this card. W you know, when to buy him, I, I I don't know on that. I'm guessing probably first it would be the best time to buy him, but I, I couldn't give you an honest answer. Just keep checking him on the market. But on the whole, all I will say is great cards, decent buyer for coins. Very, very happy with them, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.